Hello guys, Zul'jin here. Welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Indoors. Today I want to show you a really elegant kitchen that I've been working on. Some cool new features that I've discovered playing around with some of the new doors that were added to Minecraft were the ability to use them as cabinets and not in the typical way. As you can see here at the bottom, I cut out one of the blocks and just put a door underneath and wool actually places on top of the door just like a normal block would, giving you the impression that it's an actual cabinet at the bottom. I was able to do my countertops just like this all the way around with a little working stove and a sink and it worked out really really good. I used them at the top at the full depth and I surrounded them with blocks. Now the, the crazy thing about this is you have to surround them with blocks or the side blocks are in, exposed. I could show you here. See how you see the inside of the block? That can't work. <laughs> so there was nothing else I could do, but it did work out really, really good, and it was a pretty unique uh, cabinet design, I thought. I ended up doing something a little intricate with the ceiling as well. I wanted to show some symmetry and have the, sh the stove as the showpiece, so I went with the 3Y design instead of the 2, and I did three furnaces with the, the pressure plates on top, kind of like you'd see a gas range, you know? A uh, large hood, and I used the lights right behind the... Um, what are these things called again? The iron trap doors to get that hood vent effect along with the stairs protruding out. As you'll notice too, I also went with a double deep countertop design. Now there's a bunch of reasons I do this. One, when you look at a typical kitchen, the countertops come out much further than the cabinets do um, and it lines up with the sink pretty well because of the, to accommodate the plumbing and stuff like that. So typically you'll see glasses and things of that nature on the top shelf, whereas at the bottom you'll see the pots and pans and things of that nature. So I thought the double deep design did well. In addition to that, with the wool carpeting the way it is, you can use the back as just wool blocks instead of the wool carpeting and put things on the back. So it does show a little bit of depth difference, but not that much. And it was also great so I could put down these little levers as the faucet nozzles. I put a little sponge and my little curtain design right behind here. I did a two window with a couple of shelves and I used the, um, uh, <laughs> what's the name of that block? The andesite blocks or the, the polished diorite actually. Uh, and I just turned them around in an item frame. You can see the item frames right back here and it came out really good. A little flower in the corner and just a little brewing stand right here to kind of represent a coffee pot. Um, I didn't want to use pots because they seemed a little bit too big, like the cauldrons, and sometimes I decorate with them, but because they're the sinks and I couldn't really incorporate um, the hoppers for sinks in this design due to the cabinets and the way they were made, I went ahead with this design. Now as you can see, the bottom cabinets, again, I don't have a block underneath here, it's just the door that's that's pushed up against this block right here and then I come right back around with the wool carpet and this is not done through world edit you can place it no problem we have to do is shift and click just like this and it works out pretty well so I'm gonna go ahead and put that back but all in all it's a really cool design I did an accent wall with a couple of paintings and some sconces the sconces they didn't really look right protruded I guess because the cabinets on this side butted up straight against the wall so what I decided to do are these little intricate sconce designs uh, that are inset. I did a quartz slab, I mean a quartz stair uh, opposite ways on both sides and I lined them up to where it looks nice and that just showed that it gave it a little bit of dimension. I wish there was a way to get that three quarter stair that you can only accomplish by putting two stair blocks together in a certain fashion. I really wish that was the case but Alas, <laughs> that's all we can do. I did my double wide um, refrigerator design with the pistons and uh, it makes for a good double wide refrigerator. It gives it a built in look. The only thing that I regret is that I didn't save place for it in the countertop, but I didn't want to stretch my countertops out too much and I did want to add a little table as well. So in a reasonably sized room, it is a bit tall, but I just wanted to add a little bit more depth. Naturally, we could have come down a couple of blocks with this, but you see how the space in between the countertops work? It would have been impossible to incorporate design in any detail up top if I would have went with any other design, so I think the height worked out well. For the lighting features, I ended up doing some anvils, and um, because the ceiling is on the half slab, it, it kind of shows that the light fixtures are recessed, so because I'm not using World Edit, the anvils seemed like they were a pretty good deal, and it does show like there's a fixture, and there's a little bit of depth that you wouldn't normally get from putting it uh, directly onto the ceiling if it was a flat block design. 
did a couple of the acacia wood beams to match with the acacia wood floor kind of showed that that's the supports of the house itself and all in all guys i am really really happy the last thing was just this wall with the table and i decided that i was just going to do a little painting in this corner and a little inset shelving kind of like you'd see a little cubby uh, with some storage and a little plant maybe some cookbooks back there but all in all guys i'm really really happy with the design and i hope you are too thank you so much for watching guys and as always this is zuljin signing off and we'll see you next time. Bye.